So guys, here we go. I'm about to show you a little secret on how to have perfect exposure no matter if the light around you changes constantly. Like right now, I'm driving, I'm indoors. Outside is a beautiful day. And no matter what setting it is, it's always gonna be great. So first, I'm gonna go through a tunnel and show you what I mean. Let's say you're in the car, you're driving around, you wanna show the nice mountain. Oops, no more mountains. But you wanna show around and show the beautiful view, get nice exposure, but then all of a sudden, a tunnel appears. But it's all right, cause our exposure will constantly be nice. With the setting I have, you get non-stop beautiful exposure. So that really helps out a lot in editing. You don't have to do a lot of cuts. It's just one smooth flow and it's really easy to do. First thing you wanna do is make sure you're in the video mode in shutter priority mode. That's gonna allow us to control the frame rate or the smoothness of the video while allowing the aperture to just adjust to the surrounding and the exposure around. So if you're indoors, it's gonna go wide open to the widest aperture that your lens can handle. Right now I'm in the kit lens, so it's f3.5. Uh, the wider, the better. And when you shoot outside, it's gonna close down to block the light out to like an aperture 18 or something like that. Or if you use an MD filter, it's gonna help down keep the aperture lower to increase the image quality and avoid diffraction. Now the second step you wanna do is you also wanna set your ISO to auto in a range. So Sony Alpha cameras, you could set a limit to the lowest ISO and the highest ISO. And I have mine to the base ISO of for S-Log is 3200 all the way to ISO 51,800. Yes, that sounds ridiculous. The A7S could handle it like nothing. It's still pretty usable. But of course you wanna to adapt to your body, make sure your ISO range is usable. Now the third step you wanna do is set your exposure compensation according to your profile. Since I shoot S-Log, I need to overexpose by two stops, so I have my dial at plus two. If you're in a Cine 2 or a Cine 4, you know, the highlights tend to clip, so I will put it, put it on a minus three or a minus seven. That's it. Pretty simple, right? Those three simple settings, shutter priority mode, ISO with a clean range that your camera can handle, and your exposure compensation. And you have always pretty decent exposure. Now this is not the best setting for uh, quality video. This is just for a run and gun thing or if you don't have time to be uh, switching over uh, different settings while you're stepping out of the car or out of the house. This is just a way to have your camera do its thing while you do your thing. So if you're a vlogger, this will be a great setting to keep in mind. I actually have this shutter priority mode setting in one of my uh, custom dial uh, buttons and whenever I just need to worry about shooting I just put that dial on and I'm set I'm good to go so if this tip was helpful to you guys hit a thumbs up share it and don't forget to subscribe I'll be posting more DIYs how-to videos and reviews and hopefully I'll see you guys on the next one peace